Hey, hey friends, welcome back to my first Croctober of October. <laughs> um, Croctober is very popular here on YouTube, so I figured I would join in this year. I have two Crock-Pot recipes for you. One is just my favorite, of course, the brown beans, and then I made tater cakes and fried sausage with it. And of course, the other one, I had to share my quick and easy tater soup in the crock pot, which we always turn into loaded tater soup at the end because we top it with um, uh, green onions and cheddar cheese and bacon bits and just all that goodiness. Hope you enjoy it. y'all it's the next morning the beans have soaked as you can see they've pretty much taken up the whole bowl there's just a little bit of water left i have my two packets of the saison goya um this is the kind that i use this is exactly what the box says on the outside as well really good i'll tell you that <laughs> and when it says a little magic and a little full packet that is so true so, I used two of those. Um, this time I just have some diced ham to put in there. The last time I had some frozen ham left over. Um, it was in the freezer, but I don't have any. So, I'm going to put some ham in there, some onion, cavenders, badia complete, and some black garlic, which i got to go get my other thing because I'm almost out. Um, but that's all that I put in my beans. So, we're going to go ahead and get this started, and y'all can just follow along. home from work. Here are the big old crock pot of beans. <laughs> um, they have cooked all day long and they have cooked down and I know some people like the broth a little bit thicker but I like mine just the way it is because I either have a fried taters or something you know that goes in that broth with them but this evening I have leftover um, mashed potatoes from last night so I'm just gonna turn those into tater cakes so I have some self rising flour some cheese chives and some eggs and then I'm gonna also fry up some of this small bell sausage um, we had this in the deep freezer from when we went to Mississippi so I'm gonna use the last of my small bell sausage mm, so sad this stuff is so good. <laughs> I wish I could get it shipped to me. But anyways, that is what's for dinner tonight. So we're going to have beans and tater cakes and fried sausage. And that's going to be supper, y'all. changed just a little bit because I had to move my phone but I've already fried that sausage up I've taken it out and now we're just going to go ahead and add in just a touch of vegetable oil into that pan to kind of mix in with that butter and the um, sausage drippings let that get heated through and then we're going to start dropping these tater cakes in there if they don't take very long you just want them um, golden brown in here so I'm going to let this heat up for just a little bit See you here in a 
second. All right, I thought I'd bring you back real quick and just kind of show you these were the last three. Um, but you want that golden crispy, kind of like, you know, cooking a pancake. I, I like my outside of my pancakes crispy, but I like them soft and fluffy on the inside. And that's exactly what you have right here. Sorry, y'all hear my microwave. <laughs> um, so these are almost done. I'm just going to give them a couple more seconds to brown up on the other side. And we will be ready to eat, y'all. All right, friends. Here are the beans. We have our tater cakes right here. I have some diced up onions and of course Duke's mayonnaise for the beans and the onions for the beans. And then I have that fried sausage. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix up these plates. Um, this evening I'm gonna go ahead I've already got it set to high because it is almost 2 30 I need to get this in here by 2 30 so we can have dinner by 6 30 so I'm going to make a quick and easy potato soup now generally I have the cheddar cheese soup but I am completely out of the Campbell's cheddar cheese soup which is a bummer but we work with what we got here so you'll need a whole 32 ounce carton of chicken broth I'm gonna go ahead and use a cream of mushroom with roasted garlic soup cream of onion and then cream of chicken a block of cream cheese seasonings of your choice I just use the complete Badia complete and then a bag of hash browns you can use shredded but I liked the cubed better so basically what we're gonna do is just dump everything in here and set it and forget it until it's done literally so this is an all-in-one dump and go don't worry about it recipe so let's get it started All right, friends, this is quick, simple, and easy. Like I said before, it's a dump and go. So you start off with your taters, and then you want to add in your chicken broth and your water along with your seasonings. And like I said, I used a 32 ounce carton and then almost a full carton of water. If you don't want it thin, you might want to lessen the water, maybe just add like a half of that carton. And then after you add the water in, that's when you put in all of your soups. And typically I use a cheddar cheese soup, but I didn't have any, so you all saw the soups that I used then you just add in those soups and then you cut up the block of cream cheese just helps it melt you know evenly but you just go ahead and throw that in there put that lid on it set it and forget it best crock pot tater soup ever Once you have everything in your crock pot, you'll set it. We're going to do high for four hours and we're going to go ahead and put the lid on it and we're literally going to forget about it. At the very end, you'll check to see if you want it any thicker. Um, if you do, you can add in some heavy cream or um, like make a cornstarch um, slurry to kind of thicken it up a little bit but generally once it starts cooking and everything starts melting together it does thicken up um, I like to use one 32 ounce box of the chicken broth and then um, almost a full another 32 ounces because I used a huge bag of those hash browns so it's depending on whatever thickness that you like for your soup but I'll show y'all whenever this is done of course I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like and at that point you'll taste it and the seasonings and everything and I always start with the Padilla complete so let that cook let it get all happy together and then I'll bring you back when the time is up all right friends it's been the four hours and I have come in here and stirred it, you know, a couple times throughout just to break up that cream cheese. You probably still will see, you know, a couple 
specks here and there but it did thicken up a little bit um, if it's not to your liking like I said um, if it's too liquidy for you um, feel free to add in like a cornstarch slurry or even if you have like instant mashed potatoes um, you can add those in there too to kind of thicken it up but um, this is just how we like it. it. It does have a thicker consistency than it looks. <laughs> so anyways, um, I went ahead and sliced up or chopped up some green onions. I've got some bacon bits here. And of course, some cheddar cheese. We're going to have loaded baked potato soup. So I'm going to go ahead and get our bowls and get it all plated up. And I'll bring you back here shortly. All right, friends, that finishes out my first week of Crocktober. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. God bless. Bye.